Okay, so 32 is what percent of 75? So interesting question. Obviously, the topic is percent, and uh, hopefully most of you out there are like, oh, this is super easy. Uh, this is not even uh, worth my time because, you know, I, I know percent perfectly. And I would say hmm, the majority of people do not know percent as well as they think they do. Uh, you know, we do encounter percent almost on a daily basis. If you're at the store, for example, and you see 25% off your favorite coffee machine, and let's say it's a Curry coffee machine, and normally it's $100, and you say, oh, it's 25% off, you know that this cost, this is going to represent uh, $25 off the cost, so you're only going to pay 75 bucks. So, you know, these are the kind of basic uh, percent um, problems that we're doing mentally almost all day long, you know, whether it's a credit card, your interest rate, uh, your loan, or whatever the case is, if you have a loan on a car or house, we, we just see percent constantly, okay? So most of us have a good feel for it, and most of us can kind of mentally do these uh, like sales and discounts and whatnot. And, uh, and if that's the case, and that's good, I mean, if you do that, obviously, you know, that's excellent because that means you're not going to be, you know, missing out on any great deals. But we want to make sure that you can do the little bit more interesting proms with percent and really master, master this uh, concept uh, completely. Now, if I gave this question to, let's say, 10,000 uh, people as a quiz, I could tell you right now I'd have all kinds of um, answers because a lot of people would be like, oh, yeah, percent. Hmm, uh, I kind of remember this uh, like 20 years ago, how to do a problem like this. I think you'd take 0.32 and you multiply it by 75. I'm going to get a lot of that. Or maybe 0 0.75 times 32. Or 32 and divided by 75. Or 0.75 divided by 32. Or you kind of get the picture, right? You got to do something with 32 and 75 in order to get the right answer here. But what do we do? Well, we don't want to guess. We want to make sure we absolutely know uh, exactly what to do. And we're going to tackle this problem in just one second. But first, let me go ahead and quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over many years, uh, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. I'll let you be the judge of that if you're interested. You can find a link to my math help program in the description of this video, but uh, if you need to take a full complete online math course, I offer several. And if you're taking a math course right now and you need help uh, in your course, then you definitely want to check out my math help program. I have complete uh, comprehensive lessons and I teach you how to solve the most common problems that you're going to encounter in middle uh, school, high school, and basic uh, college level mathematics. Okay, so. Um, it's taken me years to develop. It's definitely worth your while if you're struggling in math to check this out. Now, if you are struggling in math or you're studying math, you need to know this, this golden rule about note-taking, okay? Over decades of teaching mathematics, I can tell you right now, uh, it is critical that you take outstanding notes. It's just, it's just a rule that I've seen, okay? Those students who have great math notes almost always have great math grades, and the reverse is true. Those students who don't think it's important to take math notes and it's more important to talk to their friends or uh, look at their cell phone um, or pay, play Sudoku or whatever the case is, you kind of get the drift, right? That's That was me way back in the good old days. I wasn't focused. I definitely wasn't taking good math notes, and I paid the price. And you will, too. you got to take great notes. So if you're frustrated with your math progress or your math grade, look at your notes and just start improving. But in the meantime, you need something to study from. So I actually offer detailed comprehensive math notes. Those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find the link uh, links to those in the description of this video as well if you're interested. All right, so let's get to this problem. We don't want any of this. We want nice, happy faces. We want to be a percent master. So let's get to it, okay? So let's just do a quick review. So if I'm going to say 6% of, uh, let's say, 40, okay? If I want to answer that question, what do you do, right? So this is like a basic level percent problem, okay? Well, hopefully most here are saying, oh, yeah, don't you have to change us to a decimal and then multiply by this number? 
Yes, okay, this is what we need to do. And by the way, I have a lot of other videos on percent in my pre-algebra playlist on my channel, okay? So uh, this is just, you know, I'm not gonna go into every single aspect of percent. I'm gonna do a quick review, but if you won't, uh, need to review this more extensively, check out my other videos in my pre-algebra playlist, or if you um, really wanna get into percent, uh, maybe check out my pre-algebra or algebra one course. Okay, so the way we handle a problem like this is we need to uh, take our percent Okay, like 6%, change this into a decimal. And the way we can do that, all right, let's say do it over here, 6% as a decimal, we divide 6 by 100, okay? So when we do that, 6% is the same thing as 6.0%. And now I'm saying 6.0% because I want to make sure you understand where the decimal point's at. So what we can do, instead of dividing by 100, the, uh, you're going to be doing the same thing if we scoot the decimal uh, point two places to the left. So that's going to be 0 0.06. That's the same thing as divided by 100. So you don't have to divide by 100. You can just move the decimal point over two places to the left. And that's how we take a, a percentage and write it as a decimal. Okay, so 6% as a decimal is 0 0.06, 0 0.06. And then we just multiply that by 40, and we would get our answer. Okay, now, I don't have a calculator right in front of me. Maybe I should, but you could do that calculation, and that's how you get the answer. But the, just this this is a, just an illustration of a basic direct uh, percent problem. Okay, again, we take the percent, write it as a decimal, and then we kind of go from there. All right, now, let's take a look at our question, and it's just a quick review, right, on basic percent. So here, our question is, 32 is what percent of 75? Okay, I don't see any percent signs. The question is, in fact, looking for the actual percent. So how do we handle this? Well, it's a good idea to actually understand uh, the definition of percent. Okay, so percent is a little bit more technical definition of it, but let's just think about it, right? What does percent kind of conceptually represent in our brains. Well, it's like a part out of a whole. It's a fraction, right? If I'm saying uh, 25 is um, 25 out of 100, okay, is what's what percent is 25 out of 100? Well, you're, you're, you might say mm, that's 25%, okay? You would be correct because 25 is the part and 100 is the whole, okay? So we want to be thinking in terms of what is the whole and what is the part? So if we look at uh, this question, 32 is what percent of 75? What is the whole and what is the part? Well, hopefully you're like, well, the smaller number here, 32, is the part, and the larger number here, 75, is the whole. Okay, so we want to set this up as um, um, a part out of a whole. So 32 is, um, we want to write this as a fraction, 32 over 75. Okay, 32 is the part and 75 is the whole. And now, when we take 32 and we divide it by 75, we get a decimal, all right? We get 0.4266666, it just keeps going on and on and on. Now, a question is asking what percent, okay? So some of you might just do this math and this do this calculation and you stop right here and give me this as an answer, all right? What's the matter with this answer? Well, this answer, this is a decimal, okay? This is not a percent. Okay, we like to see things as a percent. So how can I uh, write this 0.42? Let's do it down here, actually. 0.4266 and so forth. How can I write this as a percent? Well, if you recall, when I had 6%, that was like 6.0%. To change this into a decimal, I moved the decimal point two places over to the left. Okay, well... When you are um, given a decimal, like 0 0.06, and I want to express that as a percent, you move the decimal point the other way, okay, back to the right, and then you'll get back to your 6%. So same thing here, 0.4266 as a decimal, okay, this is a decimal. If I want to see this as a percent, I just have to move the decimal point two places to the right now, okay, which is the same thing as multiplying by 100. So I think it'd be one and uh, two, 
So that would be 42.66%. 42.66% is the answer. Now, let's just take a look at this, right? 32 is what percent of 75? Well, I'm saying it's 42 0.6%. Does that logically, you know, does this make sense to you? Like you always got to think about your answers and just give it kind of the smell test, the reality test, right? So 32 out of 75, if you just kind of initially think about this, double this number for a second, that's 64, right? So 32 out of 64, that's a, a fraction that's equivalent to one half or 50%. So this denominator 75 is bigger than 64 so this is not going to be quite 50 percent but 42.66 percent seems reasonable okay and you always should look at your answers and you know kind of uh, think about them is, are, is is the answer reasonable because i i could tell you right now 32 is what percent of 75 i would have students give me like oh it's three percent but i'm like yeah does that even make sense okay Think about your answer. Think about, you know, uh, the value of the answer and match it up to the question and, and then ask yourself, oh, yeah, no, this does, it does seem um, realistic, okay? Always try to do that. Sometimes you can't do that in every single question, but with percent, the more you practice it, the better feel you're going to get um, for, you know, kind of reality checking your answers. Okay, so there's other types of percent problems that uh, you can do for sure. But um, anyways, you know, uh, I think the thing is, is percent is more than just the basic stuff. And we just don't want to be guessing. OK, you know, when you got to figure something out, you got to figure, you know, you got to have absolute certainty uh, in this. Now, if you were able to do this and you know, it was like a piece of cake and you uh, were like, yeah, I got this. This was so, no sweat. Then give yourself an A plus 100 percent and maybe a few stars as well. OK, because you definitely deserved it. You know your percent. And that's good stuff. Now, of course, I could give you more challenging percent prompts. And actually, I actually have a few more interesting prompts. Again, check out my pre-algebra playlist. Um, you know, I think you'll, uh, I've definitely put more of my basic stuff there. But uh, if you like this video in some way, please consider smashing a like button 100%. That would definitely help me out big time. And uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Been on YouTube for a long time. Love teaching math. Love the platform. Um, uh, I think I've been over on YouTube for over 10 years at this point. And I have hundreds and hundreds of videos organized in various playlists, basic to advanced math. So if you like my teaching style, there's a ton of help there. But if you really want my best help, check out the resources by following the links in the description of this video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.